Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Holland and Blush. My name is Suzanne, and thank you so much for joining me for today's memory plan with me for the week of the 10th to the 16th of January. I'm using this kit from Saucy Sticker Co., as you guys kind of saw. Um, still trying to figure out speed up and everything, but it's a kit called Frostbite. It's just super pretty silver kit, and I'll just be using Sticker Guru um, date dots and then the Scroll Prince Co. Bougie, box it, bougie boxes. Um, otherwise, everything else is from the kit. Although I think the little, like, I think I used one of the silver little boxes that was like a freebie, it didn't necessarily come with the kit. But yeah, so I thought that during this portion of the video, me just kind of laying down everything, um, the base, that I would do some more of these get to know me questions. Um, so yeah, so what is your favorite family vacation as an adult? Um, as an adult, let's see, family vacation. Um, hmm. Well, we have an upcoming one to Disney that I'm sure will definitely be my favorite family one, hopefully, <laughs> if it happens and everything goes well with it. But I would say just any of the times that I went to California with my son, um, they were always really fun. We always had a pretty good time and got to do some really cool things. Anytime my family's come up to visit here as well, just kind of any of the times we've taken a vacation, but my all-time favorite... Um, I don't know. I guess the best one would probably be the first one that I took with Logan when he was a baby. Uh, he was only a year old, and we did his birthday party. Uh, we did, he had got to have two birthday parties, one with my family, and it was just a lot of fun. Went to the beach, him experiencing the ocean for the first time, which I am obsessed with, so, uh, like, I love the... Pacific Ocean to be specific um but yeah I just sharing that with him was always amazing what would you change about yourself if you could um hmm physically change would be my chest size <laughs> uh my breasts are large for my body type and it does cause me a lot of back pain and that's something I can fix right uh if I want it really wanted to but it is a big thing if I could just like magically snap my fingers and change it I totally would but obviously that requires a lot of surgery and things like that and just costs and things like that so it's not an easy change to make um but yeah my breastuses are are physically what I would change but every for like non-physical changes I think I would change my need to talk a lot <laughs> I mean maybe that's not necessarily a bad thing when it comes to videos but uh yeah I uh maybe my alming <laughs> the ums uh let's see what really makes you angry um when people are just rude for no reason or assume things about you um, and then therefore to me are rude for no reason in that like wow you really uh, for a while at work it was assumed that there were tasks that I should be doing by other female staff um, or that assumption that of what I do and don't do in my role rather than coming from my boss this was coming from other people who are making assumptions and that just makes me really really angry when someone assumes I should be doing something that's not my job and is not something that my boss himself has said is my job um and then it's things that they definitely could do themselves and they're just assuming I'm I should do them that tends to make me very angry at work and then in general just not being listened to not being heard can make me incredibly angry uh what motivates you to work hard um I don't know to be honest that is a very intense question <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Um, it's something that I ask myself all the time. Like, why do I work as hard as I do at work, especially at home? It's just that I enjoy having a well put together home. I'm very obviously very into organization and everything else. 
So, yeah, I think that that motivates me to work hard at home. Um, my need for things to be organized. I definitely think I might have a little bit of OCD. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I think pleasing others is probably the deep, true answer and makes me sad when I say it, like that I do have this strong need to please others and to make other people happy. Um, there's my Hufflepuff coming out. But yeah, so deep question, deep question. Uh, what is your favorite thing about your career? Working with students and seeing the big change that they can make in their lives um, when they succeed, when they do something great and something that even surprises us as staff, um, I think is my favorite thing. Plus just that I'm good at it and it makes me happy. Uh, what is your biggest complaint about your job? <laughs> change. Constant change is my biggest complaint currently about my job. I wish things would just... It's COVID. Um, but even before COVID, there was lots of changes all the time because we were a pilot program. Um, and then we went back to being part of the traditional program. And that was already a big change. And then COVID hit. And at least, like, it just seems we always get to these points of normalcy and then change and huge change like not just tiny change huge major up ending everything change and then it gets back to like okay we got this and then huge major up ending change and it's that's that's what I hate about my job but I feel like right now for everyone that's that's probably everybody's jobs uh what is your proudest accomplishment um graduating from college with honors getting to wear my two um what were they called like sashes for my because I got a certificate and a degree um and I could have actually gotten two degrees I basically have two degrees I just have to actually submit the paperwork for the final one but it's not important enough to me or major enough to my career it's in the same line of everything else I do but I think I should probably do that one day I think I maybe have to take one more class or something like that too but I, that could be the other thing that's holding me back from it but um it's not necessarily necessary to further my job but I think that was my my proudest accomplishment um other than obviously my son as well or he's not an accomplishment though I wouldn't, that's kind of no he's my proudest like thing that I've done or like thing that I'm a part of um so proud to be his mom but I think for myself for my own accomplishment yeah it would be graduating college with honors I never did well in school just because I was not motivated to I didn't care enough about school so for me to then go back to school and love it so much I loved my college experience so much and I loved my classes I loved my teachers I loved everything about it and to also be able to show that with my degree and with my honors and everything else it was definitely the proudest moment of my life um what is your child's proudest accomplishment um let's see his proudest accomplishment he loves to draw so he's always bringing home things he draws at school or at boys and girls club and i think those are his pride and joy because he likes to keep them all even though he doesn't always want to post them up on the fridge or anything like that um, and then reading and being in, um, he's actually, he's in first grade and he's, a, he reads at the third grade level. I think that's also my proudest accomplishment and like my proudest moment for him, I guess as well, because, um, I'm such an avid reader and love reading so much and to see him succeed at reading where I kind of struggled at first until I got into stories and then that's what really grabbed my attention and, and had me enjoying reading and doing well at reading um, but for him I never really had to do any of that he just excelled from at reading from the beginning um, and he loves it he loves reading he likes books um, a lot and he's in his own group and I think he's super proud of that that like he's by himself because all the other first graders are at that level or maybe second grade but none of them are at his level so in order for him to not be bored <laughs> they put him in his own reading group and I think he absolutely loves that um so I'm sure for him that's a pretty proud accomplishment and then what is my favorite book to read 
Oh, this is the worst question ever to ask me. I just said I'm an avid book reader. I definitely reread books constantly. I have uh, books that I really enjoy rereading. So I think I'm going to go with those. I mean, the Harry Potter books, I love rereading those. Specifically from Harry Potter, the one that I love to reread the most is number... I don't know, is it... Would I say eight? No, because that one tortures my soul. Um, probably... Or not eight. What am I saying? Seven? I was like, I was singing another series at the same time as I was singing of Harry Potter. Uh, oh my gosh. I don't know. Actually, with Harry Potter, that's really hard because I want to read the whole series because I want the story from beginning to end. Um... I don't know that's hard that's a hard question for me all right i'm starting to lay down stickers so i'm gonna think about it somewhere and maybe i'll answer that one later um so i've got it's girl prince co little cup and then melt new wax sticker from planet hannah and then trying to figure out how i want to place this once more with love um medicine sticker for tracking do i might have a tracker for meds and then i'm going to use a planet hannah script sticker I totally forgot to write in as I was going. I've been meaning to do that and I did it last video, but I forgot to do it this video. So I didn't realize till the end of this part that I needed to write everything in. So then I went back and wrote everything in. So you guys will see that part, but I'll kind of talk about that as well as we go. Um, I also realized that I forgot to put pull the winter bucket list for the little box that I put there. So I'm just trying to pull that and find it. Um, I pulled the Coffee Monster Co. one, I believe. Yeah, it was a Coffee Monster Co. one. And I did just a little cuddles because I basically, that week, I just was trying to stay warm. Um, and just wanted to lay on my couch a lot. And we did watch a lot of TV together. So it was just cuddling on the couch and watching TV. And then I did put down, apparently I didn't show it to you very well, but I did put down a package, a mailbox sticker from Once More With Love to list my packages I got that week. And then I also put um, a meditation sticker from Paper Beds Co. down on the bottom to show the meditation stuff that I did that week. And then now I'm just laying down boxes. I'm still trying to figure this whole thing out. Um, so yeah, kind of just figuring out how to lay things down, how to make everything kind of fit, how I want to layer things. And then this is the first time I'm using this kit and the boxes, there's not a lot of, there's not any little things. There was these header strips I ended up using a lot. Um, they're definitely meant to be like headers because um, I, I use them as those in the sidebar as well. But yeah, it was definitely um, a, I don't know, like difficult for me to, to figure out how to place everything down still. So bear with me as I do that. So I got a workout sticker from Planet Hannah and then the actual dumbbells from Carly Plans. Paper Shire for the doctor's appointment. Little, that's a super cute one. I can't remember exactly what sheet, but it's like a kid sheet with some other stickers on it. And then doctor's appointment, tanning uh, from Planet Hannah, tanning from Planet Hannah, tanning sticker is after... Yeah, tanning sticker is actually from Carly Plans. Squirrel Prince Co. Pill Bottle, Pickup RX from Carly Plans. Paper Bits Co. Little Reindeer with the Planner, it's freaking adorable. And then Plan from Plana Hannah. And Slow Cooker from Carly Plans. And I made curry that night. You'll see that when I write that in. So that's what that's marking. And then. I'm not showing you once again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I really need to like, I feel like I need to be zoomed in more, but then I don't move the page up as I am working on things. So I need to definitely work on that. But I think later in the video, I, I work on that a lot better. So let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh, there we go. I moved it up for half a second. <laughs> so I think I put a Paper Bits Co. bathtub sticker because Logan took a bath. And then there's probably something else. I'm, I, you'll see it definitely when I have to write everything in down there. So, so sorry about that. 
but you'll definitely see that to come uh, later in the video. And then me just kind of laying things down again. So yeah. Um, okay. My favorite book to read. I'm still thinking about that. Specifically Harry Potter, I love to reread the whole collection. But my favorite book when I'm rereading the whole collection at once definitely is Prisoner of Azkaban because I feel like they grow up a lot in that one. Plus I love Cirrus and the introduction of him. But I also really like Goblet of Fire for that part as well of them kind of growing up. And then obviously Deathly Hallows again for the same reason of them kind of growing up a bit more just those big moments for them where they're really growing i mean every book they grow up a little bit more but um i feel like those had big growing moments for for all of them or big touchstone kind of points of their lives okay a breakfast sandwich sticker from carly plans pack lunch and both of those are from carly plans as well Ansley Graham stickers from Fern Creek stickers, but she doesn't make those anymore. And then Once More with Love, Feeling Good. Um, but for non-Harry Potter books, because again, I like to prefer to read those as a whole. I don't normally just grab one and reread just one of them. Um, the one I gravitate to the most is this book called Betrayed. It's a romance novel, but I love it a lot. I don't own a physical copy of it. I own it on Kindle now, but I used to have a physical copy when I was in high school. And it was one of the first like romance novels, like steamy, spicy romance novels that I read uh, back in the day. And I just love it a lot. It's a really good reread and it's just one book. It's not a series or anything like that. I wish it was because there's more characters I could definitely get into, but yeah. I'll probably go through if I miss any stickers talking about where they come from I'll definitely go through them when I do the writing piece of things but I think you can also kind of see the sheets as well and I always link everything down below so yeah lots of ones more love and coffee monster co some more plan a hannah all my scripts basically come from plan a hannah or carly plans and Carly Plans does custom scripts, which I love. Uh, I'm planning to put in a huge order to her soon for that. So, Coffee Monster Co., Yawn, and Tired as Fuck from Plana Hannah. But yeah, let's see. Is there another kind of quick one? What makes me laugh the most? Everything. I laugh at everything. I love laughing. I love funny things. I make myself laugh just thinking about stuff. Like, I just love to laugh. So really, just everything makes me laugh. But what makes me laugh the most, I think, is self-deprecating jokes. Um, I love John Panay, and he's one of my favorite comedians, uh, rest in peace. And um, I just loved his jokes because they were a lot of self-deprecating stuff. Um, he, he, my best, my favorite skit is his one about um, his weight loss journey and trying to be healthier and everything and it's just hilarious and I, you just relate so much more to, to things that way than making fun of other people I feel like so those things make me laugh the most for sure um, silly things people say that also makes me laugh a lot because I was dying like literally in tears um, reading these, like, this compilation of tweets or, like, yeah, I think they were tweets that people had posted of, like, things that they said that they, like, messed up on or, or other people had messed up saying. And it just, I was literally in tears. I couldn't, like, reading it out loud made it even funnier to me. It was just great. So I just love to laugh. I just love to laugh. But yeah, okay, there we go. See, so that silver sticker was from, like, a freebie. And then it was my dad's birthday on Thursday. So I marked that and then I called him as well. So I kind of put that right below. So it's like I gave him a call and we talked a little bit about what he was doing for his birthday and everything with my mom. And yeah, it was good. And then let's see. What was the last movie I went to and what did I think? Oh, that's a good one. I like that. I go see a lot of movies 
Um, in theaters, the last movie I went to see was um, James Bond, the latest one. Uh, what was it called? Why can't I remember what it's called? I really loved it, too. I just, you know, it made me... No Time to Die. No Time to Die. No Time to Die. That's what it's called. I was like, wait, song? <laughs> the song always helps me kind of remember the name a little bit. Um, they don't always match up exactly, but it, it did kind of help me remember it. No Time to Die. I loved it a lot. I just love those movies. I love Daniel Craig as James Bond. I can't wait to see what happens next. I would so be down for an Idris Elba Bond, by the way. Anyone is listening or cares. <laughs> I would so be good for that. But, like, I... I really love him. I like, I really love the Bond. Um, I just, I love Daniel Craig's Bond movies. I've watched the others and I enjoyed them for what they were, but James, Daniel Craig is just the best James Bond ever. Fight me. I don't care. <laughs> I just love him so much. Um, yeah. I love that little Chewbacca sticker from, I think that's Coffee Monster Co. No. What's my, no. I don't. No, I think it's Coffee Monster Go. Um, that one was from. So, I missed it. The sheet <laughs> coming by. I just love that. I just love looking at it. It's so cute. We've been watching Boba Fett. That's what I'm marking there. And, of course, um, no spoilers. But I was very excited to see a certain um, type of being represented again. <laughs> <laughs> if you can tell. Uh, and so I'm just, like, so excited to see more. Because um, I feel like everybody sees Chewbacca only. And, like, um, you get a little bit more backstory on Wookiees from other elements. Like, the books, the Clone Wars animated show. Like, the... Um, some of the movies and stuff show you just like glimpses though of of them not really a whole lot from the movies but I want to know more about the Wookiees I want to know more about their like culture and everything else and um and everything about them I really really like the Wookiees but I feel like everybody thinks like Chewbacca is like oh they're all friendly and nice and loving and <laughs> I mean Chewbacca can be a little scary but for the most part he's just cute and funny but um yeah i want to know more more depth to the wookies is what i'm looking for so i'm excited about boba fett and to see what we we learn more about wookie culture and wookies in general and, and what they're what they're dealing with the ones that are obviously left um i really liked spending time on their home world um in the video game that just came out. Oh, I always want to call it Force Awakens, but that's a movie. Uh, now I can't remember again what it was called, and I was just talking about it yesterday with my husband. Um, but I played the game that came out, and I loved it a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Like, it's definitely one that I would replay happily, and everything just to experience the story again and to do everything again is just a lot of fun. It's going to come to me any moment now, the name of the actual game. But yeah, I just loved it. It was amazing. And I loved getting to spend a lot of time on their home worlds. But again, I didn't get to really interact a lot with the actual Wookiees. So. But I love that their home world is beautiful. The tree is just amazing. Speaks to my soul. Yeah. Uh, Carly Plans workout stuff again, and then the nail stones from Carly Plans and Paper Bits Co. is where the um, nail polish is from. The little plant stickers are new. Those are from Sticker Guru. I got them in like the three main core foils. And this is me trying to figure out how I'm going to place everything that goes on. Oh, yeah, my mother in law called me up and she's like, You know, computer stuff. <laughs> she was at work and somebody had messed something up on the computer and she was trying to get me to help her figure it out. But it's not really hard to help somebody when you can't see what's happening. I've never really gotten that knack. I have to even just get on my own computer and start looking at things to remember what's there. But if I was like physically there, I probably could have figured it out and helped her out right away. But because she was trying to describe, she's not a computer person and what she was trying to describe to me and then me trying to figure that out just using my own computer, it was, yeah, it was a mess. But 
<laughs> so I didn't really end up helping her that much, but it was kind of funny that she did call me and ask for help because um, she's never really done that before. So it was a cool moment, <laughs> me and my mother-in-law trying to figure out computer stuff. So yeah, I thought that was cool. And then of course I went to Crumble Cookie again because I love it. I absolutely love those cookies so much. They're so delicious. Absolutely yummy. It's like a coworker brought some to work and gave some to some of the staff. Um, I didn't end up getting any from them, but uh, one of my coworkers was like, "Oh, that crumble cookie! I had it for the first time. It is so amazing." I was like, "Yes, yeah, see, now you understand why I'm obsessed." Uh, and it's like a 25 minute drive to get to the local one or the closest one to me, and it's worth it. 100% always worth it. Always worth it. And I think I ordered from them like twice, and then I had a ten dollar. Uh, freebie or ten dollar like code like you earn points through them really fast and then get ten dollars off just like that like that was crazy it was awesome so definitely gonna keep going back for more yeah trying to figure out <laughs> where, where I was placing icons and like what I wanted to place first um, so I styled my hair, did a voiceover, took a bath, um, but I think I ended up marking it as me time because I realized I put that down and then didn't have a, like, took a bath sticker, <laughs> uh, script, so I ended up pulling later from that when I was coming back to fill everything in, but clean the bathroom, watch some TV, I think 1883 is what we watched that night, um, because that always comes on on Sundays, although it's on a two-week break and I'm sad. <laughs> like, need more. Uh, and then we always snack together on the couch, so I thought I'd mark that. Kept picking out on Dr. Pepper and some chips. But yeah, so there's a look with just the stickers, and then now I'm going to write everything in. Just marking everything down, and then my packages, Carly, plans, I think some stuff from Amazon, yep, Fantasy Wax came, Squirrel Prince Go, Planet Hannah, and then I think Amazon again, and then we kind of just filling in the headspace and the fact that I used that, and then, like I said, workout or so curry and then bath stickers from paper bits co and then once more with love little tv to mark that we watch i watched AEW and equalizer which i really love that show too and then packed logan's lunch had a really good morning with logan mornings are sometimes kind of rough with him wash fold and put away clothes those ones more with love and plan a hannah coffee monster co budget planned feeling snacky and gummy sticker from carly plans tired despite oh yeah hiccups oh i had the hiccups that day it was horrible and then i drank some tea at work watched eternals wow i sped this one up a little faster i think than i planned dad um like i said my dad's birthday dropped off logan's meds to school and then that's a carly plans med sticker uh watched a book of boba burger king uh burger king stickers from girl prince co and plana hannah carly plans and plana hannah there with the stickers and then i did put in a grocery order online for two different places and then it was my boss gary's birthday and we surprised him by decorating his office and then we had a meeting back to distance learning again for our students so i'm talking about like my job drives me crazy because change all the time everything like back and forth uh and then i watch aew and then yeah my mother-in-law called and needed help crumble cookie run and then we went to buffalo buffalo wild wings and fresh grill again for dinner and my dad actually got covid positive but he didn't because then two days later he took the test and he was negative so we don't know what happened there but he's feeling fine so that's good but i was definitely anxious about that at first um like i said styled my hair did voiceover and this is where i realized i don't i can't write on the bougie box and i'm like crap <laughs> So I was like, ah, oh, I have a me time sticker. Yes, the plan of Hannah for the win. And then, yeah, just filling out the rest of that. Uh, yep, 1883, like I talked about before. 
So thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.